Welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild with Lady Legend. In today's video, we're going to talk about wildebeest, their need zones, and where you can find them. So if you're looking for a diamond wildebeest, this video is for you. Stick around. But before we get into that, please take a quick sec and hit that subscribe button, press the notify bell, and make sure to never miss another video. All right, well, let's get down to it. So we are on the Savannah map. Now, most of the time I tend to find wildebeest when they are in their feed zone, and that is between three and 9 a.m. So here is the first spot. I spawn at the outpost there and I go north and there is actually a hunting structure. That is where I mark my waypoint and out there you're gonna find, there it is there, all kinds of rest zones. You're gonna find rest zones for wildebeest, springbok, gemsbok, sometimes lesser kudu. It is a great spot. Now, whenever I find a herd of wildebeest, my number one rule is to make sure that I spot absolutely every single one of them because I'm hoping to find a large level four or a level five to hopefully find a diamond. Now, for the purpose of this video, I did edit out a lot of that spotting because you probably don't want to watch me spot 1500 wildebeest. So just know that I did spot every single one of them. So then what I do is uh, I find the largest and that's the one that I kill. So here we had a really nice gold. So with the level fours or level fives, I'm looking for one that weighs 265 to 290 kilograms. And if it's in that weight range, even if it's a four, I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> Cause it's not guaranteed, but they can score diamond. And if I can't find one in that weight range, then I will shoot the next biggest level four because then I'm looking for a respawn for the next time I, I go out hunting for wolves. So there we have one of the smaller level fours. Might as well take another one <laughs> while they're running away. I'm using the 30 odd six uh, or the M1. Those are my two favorite weapons for hunting wildebeest. So where we have another nice gold, 36.3. So he weighs 260.91. So I've done maps for each of the locations that I have found the wildebeest. So you know where exactly where to go on your map. And I find a lot of them at the very bottom of the map, but there are still ones at the top. Later in the video, I have one map that shows all of the zones. And uh, I do have one favorite zone that I go to on every map. I'm gonna share that with you guys too. So I'm doing a little spotting here, looking for hopefully that big level four or a level five. Sometimes it is really hard to spot them. And if you can't get a spot on all of them, use your snort wheeze caller and call them out. So this is where I am. I spawn in at that outpost and I run to the left and I can almost always find a herd feeding there. And they aren't there right at 3 a.m. I usually go around 7 a.m. and they're almost always there. And that should do it. And he weighs 267.38. He has a trophy of 37. So he was a bigger four, but he's still short. 37.6 is diamond. And we shot him with a double lung shot from 138 meters. And just in case you're sick of looking at wildebeest, I saw this really pretty kudu. <laughs> Thought I'd throw it in the video. It's a pretty nice one. It's not going to be a diamond, but it has a pretty nice set of antlers on it. And that's in the, in the max weight range, so might be a good respawn. And so for Lesser Kudu, I use the Solikin. That's my favorite weapon for their animal class. I love looking at them up close. <laughs> They're so pretty. That's when you see the fine detail. That guy looks like a diamond to me, but he's not. So we have a really pretty gold, 28.5. He's not even close, 32.3 is diamond. Anyways, 93.72 kilograms. All right, so guess I spooked this herd. <laughs> 
If I spook a herd of wildebeest, all I will do is stand and spot all the ones that I possibly can because they will come back. It may take them a little bit. They will often run a ways away and you can see them in the distance and then they'll often stop and turn around and come back. So this lake has two feed zones on it. So it's a really good lake to visit for sure. It is a bit of a distance away from the outpost. It's over a one kilometer hike, but you can often find really good animals on this lake. And here's the second zone on it. And that is a small four, level two. Usually if you find a herd with a lot of small level fours, the ones that go 240 to 265, you don't often see a five in that herd or a large four if you see a lot of small ones. But those are the ones you want to kill for respawns. So always try and take out at least a level four when you see a herd of wildebeest. So I'm just showing you the zone times there. Whenever I show a, a zone time going till 9.30 or whatever 30, the reason I put it till half past is because the zones vary a half hour to the end. So that's why I always add the extra 30 minutes there. And it's great to just, you know, once you get the wildebeest you want, th throw a shot in another one as they're fleeing and get some extra cash. So. There we have another nice gold, and here is our main map. So all of the blue stars are your feed zones from 3 to 9 a.m., and then they also rest from 9 to 12 and 12 to 16, and those are a few of my favorite zones. But the bottom left corner zone is my absolute favorite. That is the zone that I hit on every multiplayer server, and I'm going to show you that in just a sec. So this is that zone. Looking for that big level four or a level five. I once uh, spawned into a multiplayer server, ran right up to this, this spot, found a level five and crashed immediately. <laughs> I wanted to cry. So this is my favorite spot. This is the spot you guys have to visit. I have shot so many diamond wildebeest from this spot. It's just such an amazing spot. And honestly, if I'm coming to this spot and I have a horrible wind, I will stay 200 meters back and I will run all the way around and I will come at them from down the hill. So if your wind is bad, change your location. And if you can't get a spot on them, use your collar, get them up and moving because in their rest zone, they're really, really hard to spot. So there I see a, a bigger four, 265 to 290. Looks like he has a really nice set of horns, so I'm gonna take him. You can see I'm just on a random multiplayer there. This was about a, about a month ago. And usually when they flee, you can hear <laughs> the stampede noise, but it is a little glitchy right now. I find it cuts in and out. Hey, we got a diamond. So he is 37.7 trophy, weighs 273.6, I'm getting killed, <laughs> and we got a double lung from 83.38 meters. And I'm going to take you for a quick little looky-see in my trophy lodge. This is my Africa lodge. And this is my wildebeest hallway. These are all diamonds. Some are older, some are newer. And then this room in here is also for wildebeest. So this is my diamond gold. Got that back in May, May 16th. And I have quite a few diamond wildebeest and most of them honestly came from that bottom left spot. And I have, I think three or four crowned now. I, I hunt a lot of wildebeest. <laughs> and that's my beautiful albino. Isn't she pretty? And that just about wraps up our video for today. I want to thank you so much for joining us. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all soon. You take care. <laughs>